dare endure survival. Dave and Cody travel to the lush woodlands of Central Maryland, but the rainfall averages 4.03 inches in the month of July. This area is also known for dangerous wildlife that Dave and Cody will have to avoid. Today we're in the woodlands of Maryland. Pouring rain out here. It's gonna suck. This is gonna be quite easy task for me. I was raised in Maryland, so I know the vegetation right here pretty easy. So I entered to begin first easy. It's really rough out here, Cody. I know. It's gonna be a hard start fire in here. Let's try to get some cover. Yeah. I don't understand how you can walk around in your bare feet. Like I told you last time, Dave. I've been doing it for 20 years, I can do it for another 20. Cody, there's something you don't understand. Here in the woodlands, there's ticks, there's snakes. There's a lot of dangerous things out there in the desert too, Dave. You got tarantulas, you got the rattlesnakes, you got cactuses, which can just better, it's more dangerous than the briars. I mean, the desert is just as equally dangerous as the woodlands. Just don't get hurt, Cody. Not making any promises. Hey, Dave. Yeah. We need to find some source of water down here. We can't li we're going to die easily with hydra dehydration. I know. Water is one of the first things you need for survival. It's really important and leads to a lot of civilization. We'll see where it takes us if we find it. Cody, you hear that? Yeah, I do. Sounds like water. I think it might be. Just look right over there. Let's keep heading that way. All right. <laughs> hey, let's stop and take a break. I'm thirsty as hell. Here, grab the backpack. Dave, don't drink that kind of water. You're gonna get dysentery like last time. I'll see what I can do, Cody. But I'm dying of thirst. Drink your own pee. Here in Maryland, we gotta go upstream because that's where uh, most of civilization will be. Let's start hiking. Yeah. All right, Dave, it's time to explore the backpack. Again, we have tissue paper. Don't want to get this wet, Cody. Yeah, it might be our only timber we have. Ramen into a soup. It'll come in handy if we can't find any critters. If somehow we can start a fire, we can take a piece of it and turn this baking spray into a flamethrower to defend us from the creatures that live down here. We got the candles again. That might actually help start the fire, too. We got two straws. Don't want to get these dirty. We got the knife, and we got two sticks. I guess we could just stab. I guess. All right. I found the stick right here. It'd be great for a walking stick. I just need to break it down somehow. Probably just like smash it something like that didn't work. But the walking stick would be perfect for me to like knock brush out of the way, dangerous crit critters, sharp objects I can't see. I got to rely on my life on this thing. Usually the old Native Americans that live down here have an easier time doing this than old old Cody. Dave, step on this. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, I gotta walk out of We gotta get moving. Alright. Cody, look up there. Natural shelter! Dave and Cody were lucky to find natural shelter, but the considerable amounts of rainfall will erode it in a few days. That's why they have to get moving. Don't tell Dave, but this wool and crap is kicking my ass. I'm better off in the desert. Okay. Being a bush hippie. <laughs> Hey Cody! Yeah? Get back to camp. We got it set up. Alright, coming.
Uh, let's split up right here. I'm gonna go look for some uh, food. And you think you can make a fire? The water's with timber around here. It's gonna be hard, but it's not possible. Gotcha. All right. All right. Dead stumps like these have a lot of termites in them, so I'm gonna use this improvised technique where I suck through the straw, put this little wood spike through it. If there's any termites in there, they'll get stuck on the straw or on the stick when I'm sucking them in. Kind of like an anteater. By all means, we need all the energy we can get, so everything's important. I'm not sure how many of these termites I'm going to get. I don't even see any. Oh, hold up a sec. There's some deep in there. Try to get them to come out. I caught something. Looks like a baby roly-poly. It's not many calories, but it'll have to do. This isn't a good catch. See if Cody can cook this up. You can also eat them raw. Let's head back to camp. Starting the fire in this wet weather is going to be very, very impossible. Hope days under the bright we can eat raw instead. Cody! Yeah? Don't look like you're having much luck with that fire, buddy. Nah, it's too wet out here. Hope we brought something back that can be eaten raw or something. I have a little bug for us. Oh, sweet! You're going to have to uh, cut it in half for both of us. Okay. Move that out of the way. This isn't many calories, but all the calories you can get. There you go, buddy. Eat up. Cheers. Not bad. Tastes like. Here's a knife. It's really hard to find critters out here, so go use your hippie skills to go find us some plants. I'll wait here. Alright. Try to start a fire. There you go. Alright. Best of luck to you. Amen. This isn't very dry at all. Got a light here. There we go. There's a the fire. Hopefully when Cody comes back we'll have something we can cook. That is day where there being a housewife for once and me being the hunter, I'm gonna go look for some food that we can eat. Not the bloody four legged hairy creatures he likes to eat, but like mother nature kind of food. Like plants. So this thing. That's poison ivy. Something that we can eat. Yeah. We always need our greens. Let's take the food back home. Coming up on Dual Survival. Tensions run high in camp as Cody Blade really eight. insults Dave. I went on it. Shut up, Cody.